Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikira Techies and this is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. So in the last video, I provided introduction about this NGRX entity library also explain how to use in our application. For the continuation of this video, I am going to cover the below three topics. So the first one is adding additional properties in this existing state and the next one is changing primary key column from our entity collections. The final one is applying shorting in the entity collections. Let me tell you from the code. So this is our actual interface. So in my previous videos, we done the complete redactions using this entity collections. Okay. But in this real time scenario, we may include some additional properties. So that may be an error message or is loading. So based on the requirement, we can include n number of additional properties. Okay. So that is our first task I am going to explain in this video. And the second thing is, if you are using this entity collections, make sure you should have one primary key column. Okay. So since if you are not declared the primary key column, it will check the collections whether you have one of the field the name with an ID. So then it will take this is the primary key column. So in our case already I am having this ID. Okay. So in case instead of providing the name is id if i provide code or a customer id if i put some other name so we have to manually register this is the primary key column okay so that is my second task and in this entity collections the data are sorted based on the unique column okay so in case if you want to change the sorting based on some other columns by adding some of the configuration that also achievable okay we can go on by one first let me take this adding additional properties for the testing purpose i'm going to use the same error message see i included one of the property so similarly i'm going to include one more property that is is loading so the data type is boolean we can remove the other two okay now if you are noted we are getting the error from our state so in this state uh, using this entity adapter we have initiated our state for adding the additional properties you can give like this and the first one is error message right so the default value let me provide us empty so similarly we can include this is loading also so default let me provide us the false okay so let me save this one and the next thing is uh, we have to handle in our reducer and also the selector side so let me go to the reducer now so in this load customer success basically we will get the list of customer information we are adding into our state okay so similarly in this failure scenario we have to handle the error messages so let me include one more new section and here the action name is load customer failure okay so in this scenario what i'm going to do let me return the existing state and additionally i am setting value into the error message we will get the exact error message from the payload okay we added so let me format this one so similarly if you want to change the value of is loading also we can change it and the next thing is in this access scenario make sure we have to set the value as empty for this error message okay for that we can use the same set all first we are passing the list of customer information and then we are providing our actual state so let me remove the actual state okay so in this curly braces here we can use our actual state and then we are modifying the value for this error message that's it so similarly if you want to apply the value for is loading also here we can change so now our load customer is fine the same way for the add or update or delete also so instead of providing the direct state still if you have some changes in our state we have to assign like this okay so let me save this one finally let me move on the selector side we have to get the error message right so let me create one more selector 
get the error message and using this create selector here we can pass the default state from the default state we are going to return only the error message see here we can see this entity is id error messages is loading so let me return this error message that's it so finally uh, we can move on the component side so there i am going to display the error message first in this ts side i am declaring one variable error message and default value is empty and here i am going to subscribe the particular selector get error message so this dot error message equal to whatever value we are getting from the selector okay I'm just assigned here and in our HTML side we are populating records into the table so before that I am adding one more due tag and I provided one h2 tag using this interpolation I am binding this error message okay and it should be displayed when it is having some value so let me use this ng if directive and similarly if there is any error we are not required to show this table so here I am just changing the condition so the same change I am going to include the pagination area also okay so let me refresh the screen see so this is our customer page the data are loaded fine so now let me trigger the error manually so in this service side I am providing one invalid URL so you know but this is the message we are getting from our API so I am just to bind it here so in case if you want to provide some custom error message also it's possible so now let me change this into the correct URL see now it is loaded fine so the same approach we can follow for the is loading also so now let me move on the next topic okay so the next topic is changing the primary key so let me go to the state so here only we declared our entity adapter so here let me include the unique key so in this entity adapter side we have one property so that is select ID okay and this select ID we are going to have this object customer that name so let me save this one oh, it's not needed so if you are checked in the screen so it's showing only four records okay but if you are checking in this api i mean our db.json we have one two three four five totally we have the five records okay so let me create a new record also i'm just copying this Akbar. once i'm saved I got the created successfully message but this still our listing is showing only four records and if you are checked in this db.json we can see the new record also so the reason is our entity collections working based on the primary key column so since this is our primary key column obviously it will take the single record okay if there is any additional record that is the duplicate so it is just ignoring so now if I'm changing this name into id see so, you know it's showing six records if i'm shorting see we have two akbar and this ramesh kumar also two times which was there see and the final one is shorting so the default shorting working based on this id so if you want to change the shorting by some other columns that also possible from the ui we can 
chart it manually so anyway if you are doing from the code so the initial load should be we can see the charted data okay for doing this one uh, we have one more property that is short comparison and here let me include one function short by name so let me declare the function also So we are going to short by the name. Okay. So let me save this one. See now. So the initial load itself, it is shorted based on the name. So the same way, if I'm changing this into email. see so based on the email it is shorted okay okay this is working fine okay these are the basic configuration changes in this ngrx entity so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video we can see one more new library so that is ngrx data okay thank you thanks for watching